Hey everyone, Darren here with the Never Forgotten Games. We're here in Lassen County at Dirty Deeds CrossFit, working out with some Lassen County deputies. We're gonna be honoring Deputy Sheriff Larry Griffith, who died in the line of duty. Let's do this. Line under heavy rain, thin line between joy and pain. It's a long, strange trip, it's all insane. You ain't never gonna be the same. Living life through the night, thin line of the lightning. Uh, my name is Ron Jarrell. I'm the retired sheriff of Lassen County. Was elected, uh, took office in 1983, and then retired from Lassen County in 2002. Uh, five terms as the uh, the sheriff. When I'm shaking, bad news All right, uh, I've been with the Lassen County Sheriff's Office for 27 and a half years. Uh, I've been sheriff since 2011. I was 38 years old when I ran for sheriff and was elected. Larry had worked for us, and I don't remember exactly how long it was. He had worked for Plumas County originally, and I hired him, uh, and he worked for us. He was an excellent deputy sheriff, committed to his uh, profession, dedicated to serving his community. Then on March 2nd, 1995, he and three other members of my staff responded to a domestic violence call out in a remote part of the county, approached a, a house where the victim had escaped from after being shot at by her uh, spouse. You see, fitness is very important for our line of work. Um, there are all kinds of stresses um, that we experience, whether it's physical confrontations or just you know extreme situations. It's important that we're able to maintain calm and keep our heart rate low so we can be effective in, in doing our job and protecting ourselves and the citizens. You know, it's important that we remember, you know, those public safety personnel who lost their lives in the line of duty. Like the name of the game's never forgotten. We can never forget those people, you know, like, like Larry Griffith who, who gave his life for the well-being of our citizens. They approached the house and as they exited the two patrol cars they were in, they were ambushed from a second story window. A man with a rifle came close to hitting several of the officers, but he shot uh, Larry in the head as he was exiting the patrol car. Might only been on about a year and a half uh, when he was killed and it was a real you know, for me, it was, a, it was a huge impact on me. Well, you have to understand, it's the absolute worst day of my professional career to, to lose an officer, uh, a member of your department family. Um, it was emotional for all of us. It was difficult to continue to try to provide service for the citizens of Lassen County, knowing full well that about the inherent dangers that were there it confronted us. Fact is, for the first couple of weeks, I tried to work and also respond to every domestic violence call just so that officers would have backup. I really, I carry that with me every day. You know, that concern, that concern for the deputies out there on patrol, knowing that it's possible that one of my deputies could get killed and doing everything I can to keep that from happening. The <clears throat> For those of us who lived that, uh, obviously we'll, we'll never forget it. And uh, so we add that to our list of things that we'll never forget, uh, whether there be military issues that some of us went through uh, and losses there to losses of a man who was uh, committed to serving his community and, and in fact gave up all his tomorrows so that others in the community could have today. Uh, and Larry is one of those people, and, and uh, I, I personally will never forget his contribution, and I know the people that were working with me at that time have, have not forgotten him. And uh, when March 2nd rolls around, the thought seems to come to your mind every time, and several of us even talk about that. 